Thank you for watching this presentation on the project titled Leaf Defoliation in Warm Winter Regions as a Management Practice on Apple Trees. This project was done by me, Dian Craven, under the supervision of Dr. Kolani Siboza and co-supervisor Prof. Karen Tron. So, why are we looking at leaf defoliation treatments? We would like to evaluate the effects of leaf defoliation treatments on vegetative development, yield and fruit quality. And we would also like to evaluate the possibility of using leaf defoliation treatments as a non-sanitation control against apple scab. The idea behind this is to accelerate leaf drop and also to accelerate leaf litter decomposition on the orchard floor to ultimately reduce the apple scab in oculum sites, which is leaves. No evaluations were taken on the actual apple scab in oculum. The objectives of these studies were to evaluate the effects of leaf defoliation treatments on bud break, yield and return bloom, and also to speed up leaf drop rate and leaf litter decomposition rate on the orchard floor to possibly reduce apple scab in oculum load. In all three trials, seven treatments were applied at June week 1, June week 3 and July week 1. For the purpose of this presentation, the hand defoliation treatment will not be illustrated as 100% leaf drop was achieved the day of application. In trial 1, we evaluated the effects of leaf defoliation treatments on the rate of leaf drop, rate of leaf litter decomposition, bud break and fruit quality on Granny Smith apple trees planted in the traditional orchard in Feyerboom. Figure A illustrates the leaf drop percentage over time, while figure B illustrates the days the treatments took to reach 100% leaf drop. 3% urea plus 2% zinc sulfate significantly reduced the amount of days it took to reach 100% leaf drop compared to other, other treatments. 5% urea significantly reduced the time um, to reach 100% leaf drop compared to the untreated control. Figure C illustrates that while applying these treatments at June week 1, the amount of days to reach 100% leaf drop was significantly reduced. Trial 2 was done on Granny Smith apple trees planted on a 20% shade net in Grabo. Figure A illustrates the leaf drop percentage over time, while in Figure B we can see that 3% urea plus 2% zinc sulfate with the treatment 5% urea, both significantly reducing the time to 100% leaf drop compared to the other treatments. Figure C illustrates that application time had no effect on the rate of leaf drop. Trial 3 was done on rosy glow apple trees planted in Grabo. Figure A again illustrates the leaf drop percentage over time, while in Figure B we can see that 3% urea plus 2% zinc sulfate significantly reduced the time to 100% leaf drop compared to the other treatments. Figure C illustrates that application time had no effect on the rate of leaf drop. In conclusion, in trial 1 done on Granny Smith apple trees planted in a traditional orchard in Feyerboom, we could see that compared to all the other treatments, 3% urea plus 2% zinc sulfate significantly accelerated leaf drop, followed by 5% urea. Application time did affect leaf drop rate, while in trial 2, done on Granny Smith apple trees planted under net in Grabo, we saw that both the treatments, 3% urea plus 2% zinc sulfate and 5% urea accelerated leaf drop significantly compared to the other treatments. Application time had no effect on leaf drop rate, while in trial 3, done on rosy glow apple trees planted in Grabo, we saw that 3% urea plus 2% zinc sulfate significantly accelerated leaf drop compared to the other treatments. Application time had no effect on leaf drop rate. When evaluating the results of all three trials, we can come to the conclusion that cultivar does affect the results of leaf defoliation treatments. Environmental conditions also affect the results of leaf defoliation treatments and the timing of application of these leaf defoliation treatments. This can be seen with evaluating trial 1 done on a traditional orchard where uncontrolled environmental conditions are present, where we see, saw that application time did enhance leaf drop rate compared to trial 2 
done on Granny Smith apple trees under controlled environmental conditions where application time did not affect leaf drop rate. No significant effects was seen on leaf decomposition rate, bud break, leaf area yield or fruit quality. Future research may include earlier application times and the incorporation of other cultivars.